no, not actually I put myself in the center so that uh, I know which angle of things are working out. Anyways, good morning class. And it's nice and pleasant to be back with you all. We were doing, yesterday we did till uh, Gerard, uh, Gerard asking him about the mystery, about the things, uh, how he had murdered a cop, the intruder. He had murdered a cop. And so he's just trying to convince him not to do it again. Okay. So it brought me to Alisbury. That's where I saw you in the car. Two other people saw you and started to talk. I listened. It looks like you are a bit queer, kind of a mystery man. So now the intruder tells about Gerard. He says that it was this uh, Ellsbury where he first saw Gerard. And he was talking to two people. And to him, to the intruder, he appeared a kind of a mystery person who was not very open, who had very few people in his life. So the intruder, so at this, Gerard says, a mystery which I propose to explain. So now Gerard wishes to explain the mystery, why he's so concerned. And here is the real twist of the story you'll see now. Intruder, disregarding him, your phone, your orders, and sometimes you go away suddenly and come back just the same. Those are just the things I want to do. Hearing about you was one of my luckiest breaks. So now they are telling that uh, the he had been the Judas telling that he had been keeping an eye on him, and he had found him very strange. He calls. He sometimes drives. He orders, and some, sometimes he appears in his house, and then he's off. He's gone. He has disappeared. And so seeing you, this is what intruder is saying, seeing Gerard, he was very happy because this is the kind of life he wanted to replace his life with. Because even he had a very uh, suspicious life. He was a thief. And so he wanted people to uh, see no difference in Gerard and him. The way Gerard also appears and comes back, he also wants to do the same. So hearing this was one of the luckiest breaks he thought it would be, uh, Gerard. Apparently, you haven't the intelligence to ask why I am invested in this cloak of mystery. So now Gerard says, Ki, maybe you don't know why I am into this mystery, why I have such less people, why do I do these kind of things, why I am appearing and disappearing. This is a mystery and you should know. Now the intruder, preparing to shoot. As I said before, this conversation bores me. So now the intruder is getting impatient and he says, no, I don't want to listen to anything. I just want to work on it and I'm getting bored. Let me shoot you. Gerard, don't be a fool. If you shoot, you hang for sure. If not as yourself, then as Vincent Charles Gerard. So now he's saying, oh God, don't shoot me because if you shoot me, that's for sure that if you are going to shoot me, you will be hanged. And why will you be hanged? Not because you are an intruder, not because of your own self, but because the cops want Vincent Charles Gerard. That means he is also wanted by the police. So now the intruder says, what is this? He's finding it strange, Gerard. Now listen very carefully. This is your big surprise. I said you wouldn't kill me and I was right. Why do you think I'm here today and gone tomorrow? Never see tra trade people. You say my habits would suit you. You are a crook. Do you think I'm a Sunday school teacher? The game's up as far as I am concerned. Things went wrong with me. I said it with bullets and got away. Unfortunately, they got one of my men and found things. The fool should have burnt. Tonight, I'm expecting trouble. My bag's packed, ready to clear off. There it is. So now he's telling the whole story. He's saying the things are not very pleasant in my at my end. Also, I have a surprise for you. And if you kill me, you will be rightly caught up as me. So he's saying that I'm here to today, packing and going away tomorrow. And I see very less people. Do you, do you ever noticed why do I do it? 
do you think you are a crook you are a crook means you are a crooked man you are not straight you are into some false business so do you think i am a school teacher ajaraj is saying that is he so pious is he so um, sunday school teacher that means who's even teaching on sundays and doing kindness and spreading kindness no he's saying that he also had a play with the bullets that means he also had done something wrong by using the revolver or a pistol or a weapon so now unfortunately one of his men they were found they were caught by the police and the traces he forgot to burn some traces and because of that he is in trouble gerard is in trouble because of one of his men and tonight since he was expecting some trouble so he had already packed up his things and he was ready to go intruder it's a bag all right and this is a gun all right what's all this so now he's saying he, okay so this is your bag packed this is and this is the gun which i'm holding so what's all this now he's asking to know more that's a disguise outfit false mustaches and what not now do you believe me so now gerard says ki see these are false mustaches which i'm wearing my outfit is also a disguise disguise means which you wear to hide your real identity so he's saying i now do you believe me intruder i don't know now intruder is really you know surprised gerard for god's sake clear that muddled head of yours and let's go come with me in the car i can use you if you find it uh, if you find it's a frame you've got me in the car and you've got you've still got your gun so now gerard says ki listen what we can do best is let us both of us go out together because we both are in trouble and supposing in my way if you think that i'm cheating you you have a gun you can use it at that time so now the intruder says maybe you're right gerard then don't waste time goes and picks up hat and bag intruder careful boss i'm watching you gerard i have got a man posted on the main road he'll ring up if he sees the police but i don't want to leave telephone bell rings come on they are after us through here straight on the garage or, or straight to the garage so now he tells that he is waiting for a phone call there's a man there who's keeping an eye whether the police is coming or not and so he has to wait in the house as soon as he gets the signal then he has to leave straight to the garage and to his car and move off into the how do i know that you are telling the truth gerard or oh, don't be a fool look for yourself so now he, the intruder says he i am not sure whether you telling the truth it could be a false state it could be a false statement to this he says don't be a crook don't be a stupid man don't be a fool look for yourself now gerard opens the door and steps away intruder leans forward to inspect it with his side towards gerard but with the revolver ready as he turns his head gerard gives him a push into the cupboard knocking the revolver out of his hand he slams the door and knocks it picks up the revolver and goes to the proof, to the phone where he stands with the gun pointed at the cupboard door so now as soon as he tries to look here and there and gets distracted gerard pushes him into a cupboard the intruder is pushed into the cupboard and the gun is left out in it from his hand and he grabs it the person called gerard he grabs the gun and is ready he now is phoning somebody to get the uh, person out and he's at the same time pointing the gun towards the door me, of the cupboard rattles the door and shouts let me out of here so now the intruder says please pull me out of here gerard hello yes speaking sorry i can't let you have the props in time for uh, for rehearsal i've had a spot of brother quite amusing i think i'll put it in my next play listen can you tell our friend the surgeon to come up here at once you'll probably find him in the public bar so now finally gerard calls up and he's speaking now he is an actor that is why he's saying that the props which were locked in the cupboard could not be used any more why because the man is locked inside there and he's saying that uh, please call the surgeon who's our friend and he will be in the public bar 
so you go and get him because i have a surprise for him so now is it clear now the whole story is clear what it was all about yes ma'am excuse me ma'am yes, yes. ma'am uh, in the on the page number 122 ma'am there was a line from gerard so ma'am uh, here is a telephone bell rings come on they are after us so ma'am the police was after gerard no he was posing he was posing he was having a conversation with the people who were in the play yes he was an artist but he was posing to the intruder that it is the policeman who is about to come because the Not person intruder was a criminal or a or a actor also pardon ma'am intruder was a criminal or a actor of that play he was an intruder he was a criminal Okay, ma'am. Ma Gerard was the actor. Yes, Gerard was the actor. Yes. Ma'am, and ma'am, Gerard also knows that intruder was a criminal. He came to know because of his actions. Intruder had come with a gun. Now Gerard wanted to save himself, so he installed a story to narrate to him. Okay. Ma'am, उसको पकड़ने के लिए इसलिए हुआ था. हाँ उसको पकड़ने के लिए उसने किया था ओके लेट अस कम ऑन टू द क्वेश्चन आंसर्स व्हाट वॉज जरा डूइंग व्हेन द इंट्रूडर एंटर्ड मैम कैन आई टेल हां मैम कैन आई टेल यस Uh, Ma'am, uh, Gerard was talking to someone, and after hanging over the phone, uh, he continued with the patting. Yes. So the when the intruder had entered, he had that time only kept the phone down with the person who he was talking. Gerard had, was packing a traveling bag when the intruder had entered. Okay. What yes. details did the intruder ask for? What were Gerard's answer? Complete the table. Now, intruder wants to know firstly the name. So, what did Gerard answer? His name was Vincent Charles Gerard. Yes, ma'am. Next question. He had asked if Gerard live alone. Lives alone. So to that he says he does not answer this question immediately. He is just silent about it. Then the third question he asks if he owns a car. Now to this, Gerard's answer first said no, and then said yes. It was in the garage around the corner. Next, the Sec fourth question he asked if people visit him often. To this he said he had few visitors other than the bank uh, baker, the green grocer, and the milkman. Okay. Then next is what kind of a criminal was the intruder? So the answer would be the intruder was the jewel thief. Hi, he was a jewel thief. He used to jewel. He used to mm. rob, uh, rob jewelry. Okay. Ma'am, can you please repeat the answer? He was a jewel thief. J e w e l jewel thief. T h i e f. The next question number. Excuse me. You will not. Question answer. Excuse me. No, you need not do the question answers. Why did he want to kill Gerard? He wanted to kill Gerard so that he could start living as Gerard and not have to lead the life of a criminal. On the who was or constant. Man, you have to not do the rough copy also. What? Like he was now. The... Children, you all don't pay attention. What I'm I'm answering certain things, and you're busy in your own queries. See, you are not supposed to do them in your literature copies, but definitely it's a comprehension passage that we are dealing with. If you wish to do, do it anywhere, but not in your copies, not in your literature copies at least, please. Do it in your comprehension. Do it in your a rough register. Do it anywhere. It's a revision I am taking, and you are busy disturbing. Now tell me the answer. Question number four. Why did he want to kill Gerard? Come on, you all did not bother to listen. Ma'am, ma'am, because he wants to live like Gerard. Pardon? Ma'am, he you, wants to live like Gerard. He wanted to live like Gerard. No, he wanted to. He could start 
living as gerard and not have the and he would not have to lead the life of a criminal who was constantly on a run so by being gerard he could have a settled life okay next what story did, did gerard tell the intruder about himself come on Ma'am, Gerard was also a criminal. Uh, that he said. Very good. Now this is a wrong way of answering. It has grammatical errors, but the correct answer is okay. So now I will just sum it up. Gerard told the intruder that he himself had been involved in a murder case and was on the run, and that's why he led a mysterious life, hardly meeting anyone. hardly having any visitors and was always on a move because he wanted to save himself from the cop now this is what the story he told about himself it's not true actually we in the end of the lesson or the play we came to know that he was a art he was an artist who would use this whole story in a play now next what was gerard's true identity gerard was actually a theater playwright or a director or an artist okay next page yes reference to the context read the lines from the play and answer the questions that follow at last a sympathetic audience who said these words and to whom ma'am these words came to the to the intruder why did the speaker say these words he said these words because when he said he was not comfortable the intruder asked him to be seated with these uh, sorry to be seated and tell him all about himself okay next is the statement serious or sarcastic come on the statement is sarcastic next yes ma'am as smart as you and smarter and i know you run a car better be careful wise guy who is i in these lines have into the have into the come into the please answer it in full sentence the intruder is i in, in these the lines did the listener run a car yes ma'am yes. you know run a car yes the listener owned a car or run a car why did the speaker warn the listener he want he warned the listener because he knew that the listener had lied about not having a car okay when he had a, a car in the garage next i'm not taking it for fun i've been hunted long enough i'm wanted as for murder already and they can't hang me twice what was the speaker talking the speaker was talking about the step of murdering uh, uh gerard whereas he had already murdered someone else before okay why was the speaker hunted the speaker was hunted because he had wanted uh, he was wanted for a murder uh, and for other crimes now whom had he murdered he had murdered a cop by mistake okay Whom was the speaker planning to kill next? Ma'am, Ma Gerard. Yeah, the speaker was planning to kill Gerard. The speaker was planning to kill Gerard next. Appa apparently, you haven't the intelligence to ask why I'm invested in this cloak of mystery. Who is I in these lines? Ma'am, Gerard is I in these lines. Ma'am, Ma Gerard is I in these lines. In these lines. Next, who, according to the speaker, did not have enough intelligence? According to Gerard, the intruder did not have enough. Did not have uh, enough intelligence. Very good. Do you think there is something mysterious about the speaker at this point? Do you yes, think? Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes. Yes, there is something mysterious about the speaker at this point because we do not know who he actually is. or yes. what he does and that mystery is maintained till the end of the passage we have read till the end of this drama that we read so the 
writer has been very aptly able to keep all of us intact in the process of reading it. He has created enough interest and curiosity. Okay, so with this, we come to the end of our class. I would like each one of you to please go through this and do the work in your reference.